I'm trying to move the bin so I can talk about it and you gotta get inside. What are you doing? What are you doing up there? Oh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness, what is that? All right, here, take a ride with me so I can move this to the light. It's dark on this side of the room. Here, let's move this over to the lighter side of the room. That'll work. Jeez, you guys got a lot of crap. Okay, so this bin that Leo is sitting in, um, I made the ferrets probably about five years ago when Weasel down here was a little baby. Basically what I did was I went to the store. I got one of these Tupperware bins that you comes with a lid. I think I got it from Walmart for like 20 bucks. And then I went to Home Depot or Lowe's and I got this pipe. I cut a hole in it. I stuck the pipe in it and they love this thing. For a really long time, up until about six months ago, I would just cover this with a blanket or a sheet. And they loved it. Baby Oscar, who is asleep somewhere, likes to climb up the ramp and dive onto the top of this thing. Oh, good. <laughs> anyway, make a long story short, I got sick of having to try to find ways to keep the sheet from falling inside. And so I created basically an elastic cover, like a cover that goes on, looks like this. <laughs> you sleeping in the air? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. My ferrets love this thing. I have hundreds of dollars. I've got cages. I've got beds that are 50 or $60 a piece and they sleep in here. So do with that what you will. Now that I've started making these elastic covers, I like to change them out for the holidays and I'm getting ready to do their Christmas cage, like their Christmas room. And I'm going to make the one for Christmas. And I've never made a video on how I make these. So today I'm going to show you guys how I make these elastic covers. Okay, so for this project, you're just going to need your sewing machine and you're going to need a pair of scissors, a ruler, and some elastic, which you can pick up like this at Joann's. This is three quarter inch elastic. I have used quarter inch and half inch elastic also. So the width of your elastic, that's up to you. Um, my bin measures 20 inches by 30 inches. I am going to add an additional six inches on all four sides, which means I'm gonna cut my fabric um, 32 inches by 42 inches um, because that will allow me to make it so that it's kind of fitted and goes around the bin and I can also attach my elastic and hide it. Just for the record, crib sheets also are, or fitted sheets I should say, not crib sheets, but fitted sheets are made the exact same way. So if you wanna make sheets for your bed and you wanna use cotton, this is the method that people use to do that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is cut the fabric now. A yard of fabric is 36 inches long by about Let's see, it's about 60 inches wide, 58 to 60 inches wide. So what I'll do is I'm going to cut my fabric. I'm gonna cut a yard of fabric. Um, let's see, that's 36 inches. I don't even need it to be 36, so we'll cut it a little bit smaller than that. We'll do 34, that way, because I'm gonna trim this up. We're gonna measure out a piece of fabric that is 42 by 32. Okay, so I've cut my piece of fabric. It is 32 inches wide by 42 inches long. When I, so if I open this up, it's 42 inches. What you need to do now is on the corners, not where the fold is, so not on your, not where the fold is, but on each of the four corners, you're gonna cut a square that's six by six. So, um, now that I've just messed that up by opening that up, I'm just going to cut each square individually so I don't screw it up. Um, sometimes you can lay them on top of each other and cut two at a time, but <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure six. So that's a six inch square and we're just going to cut this. Go to the next corner. Okay, so 
you should now have fabric that looks like this on both sides. Um, and what you're going to do is you want to take and flip it so the right sides are facing you. Take your each corner and match it up with the corner. Like, take the two corners. Go like this. So the right sides are facing together. Um, you can clip them if you want to. And we're going to stitch down this. I'm just going to do a, a quarter inch seam. I'm going to do that to all four corners. like that. Okay, so what you should have now is something that looks like this. The corners should be sewn together. There should be kind of like a pocket. It's about six inch deep pocket. Okay, so I'm basically going to be creating a casing for my elastic. My elastic, like I said, is three quarters of an inch thick. So I want to roll all along the, all around all four sides. I'm going to roll about, I'm going to say about an inch just because I want to make sure my elastic fits through here, which I'm going to add this on after I stitch this, I'll, like stitch this casing. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go around and I'm going to make, I'm going to fold this down about an inch all the way around. Wider, a little bit wider than the elastic. So if you're using half inch elastic, then you don't have to fold it as wide. You would only, I would only fold it maybe three quarters of an inch. Okay, so now that you have the edge rolled all the way around, you're gonna go around and you're gonna stitch it in place. Now I'm just gonna stitch right along the bottom of the rolled edge. I wanna make sure that I leave an opening wide enough that this roll is wide enough to fit this through once I am done stitching. So I'm gonna stitch this all the way around to hold that in place. But what I do want to do is I want to leave it opening about an inch and a half or two inches. So to do that, I'm just going to put pins like right here and I'll stop and start where those pins are. So um, I'm going to start stitching here, go all the way around and stop at this other pin so that I can then feed my elastic through. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to stitch right here, right along the edge. Um, so that I can leave space in here for my elastic to fit. I'm just doing a straight stitch all the way around. If you do this with cotton, you may want to um, use like a zigzag stitch or something because cotton tends to fray and so does, um, so does final. So we're gonna stitch this all the way around and except for that one and a half inch opening we're gonna leave and here we go. Okay, so what you're going to need now is a safety pin that looks like just a regular old safety pin. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this. Um, and some elastic. For this, I am using about 68, yard, 68 inches of elastic, um, which is about three quarters of the size of my bin if you add the two side, all four sides together. So what you want to do now is find your opening that you left. Your edges should now look like this. They should be sewn. The outside will have like a line, a nice pretty line around it. Find your opening, which I've managed to lose where it is. Hold on. Oh, here we go. Okay. Sorry. So what I did is I put the safety pin onto my elastic. I have my opening here that I didn't stitch. I'm going to take my safety pin. This is old school. My mom used to, this is how my mom taught me how to like, if your sweatshirt comes undone or your, the drawstring on your sweatpants or whatever. Anyway, so put your elastic onto a safety pin, feed it into that opening that you have. Um, so my safety pin is here. You're just going to bunch it, bunch it, bunch it up. And you're literally going to pull the elastic through using the safety pin. So you hold on to your safety pin and you scrunch as much of that, that together as you can and you pull. Soon enough, you'll be pulling your elastic through. So just hold the, the bottom of the safety pin with one hand. Feed, kind of like push all the fabric up onto the safety pin. Then hold on to the tip of the safety pin and pull it down. 
And you're gonna do that till you get all the way around to the other side of your opening. Okay, so now you have your, you have both sides through. I would hold on to this for a second. I like to make sure this is nice and stretched out. Um, okay. Don't let, if you let go of these, you will lose them into your fabric. So I don't want to let go of, especially the safety pin side. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do, um, I am going to actually cut some of this excess off of my elastic, but what I'm going to do is you're going to go over to your sewing machine and you need to line these pieces, two pieces up like this so that they connect and you want to zigzag stitch these together because if you straight stitch this, it, it messes, the elastic doesn't work well with a straight stitch. So zigzag stitching is the best way to go when you're using elastic. So we're going to zigzag stitch these, this piece of elastic, then we're going to tuck it back up inside and we're going to close off this opening. All right, so I have, I have my um, sewing machine set to zigzag. I'm just gonna put this piece inside the sewing machine right here. I'm gonna zigzag stitch across that. Okay, so once you've zigzag stitched this together, you're just gonna kinda tuck it back, tuck it up inside of the rolled edge, the rolled part that you have. It'll fit up in there. Just get it in there. There we go. All right. So now it's hidden. It's up inside of here. Now you're just going to stitch this closed. Just make sure you don't stitch the elastic. So you don't want, you want the elastic to be free inside of there. You don't want to stitch it down or hold it in place. So just stitch this closed, making sure not to accidentally stitch your elastic. And when you're done, you'll have something that looks like this and you can fit it over top of whatever bin or whatever it is that you're trying to fit it over top of. So I'm going to go set the ferret room up, which is going to be part of a different video. Um, but I'm going to do that now. So stay tuned. That will be also, that video will also be on my YouTube channel. Okay. So here is what this looks like when you go to put it on. You just pop it on like this. There you go. Now you have your very easy lid, Christmas style.